Incessant strike actions, rallies and protests is now the order of the day in Nigeria. Virtually all sectors of the Nigerian economy is enmeshed in labor crisis, from the health sector to the education sector. Workers seem to be dissatisfied with their employer. Labor leaders accuse government officials of not making sincere promises in their manifestos and ultimately making lives unbearable for the income-generating population in the country. According to Ejiro Onobrakpea, the National Conference would do Nigerians a lot of good if they could extensively discuss the challenges facing labor unions and prefer solutions. In the labor union, they should be able to come out with people that have had antecedents of good leadership and people that are sincere and people that are not just coming to come there to benefit from being the leaders of the union. Advocating for a readjustment in the terms and regulations guarding the labor unions, Iziako says workers in the private sector and those working with establishments or foreigners should also have their welfare taken care of. Yes, it, it becomes worrisome when some of the employers themselves are not Nigerians. When foreigners come in here, they do things that ordinarily they will not even think of in their own home country. And then uh, it is the duty of, of government, it is the duty of the Nigerian system to ensure that those foreigners, to set the standard, set the standard, set the, uh, the, the rules to ensure that those foreigners apply international best practices. Both of them ascribe the problem of Nigeria labor to insincerity and further advise Nigerians to look out for sincere leaders with good precedents in the coming 2015 elections. People don't just spring up and become bad politicians. They may have had, you know, antecedents of bad leadership. And so this is how it ends up with people that um, are not sincere. And it's important to have sincere people contesting for elections because really what the people are going to do is represent the common man who does not have an opportunity to come out to complain. You know, they must represent them in a way that their own, you know, welfare is taken care of. Said, you know a good day when it is done. By the first, uh, in, in the first hours of the day, you know how good the day will be. I mean, uh, that, that is by way of, um, of, of saying that by the time you look at what somebody has done in the past, and then the way somebody has handled previous assignments, no matter how little the assignments were, that will tell you the way the person will handle bigger assignments. The recent university polytechnic teachers and doctors' strikes in the country has once again brought to the fore workers' dissatisfaction of welfare packages for workers. It is a desire of all Nigerians that workers, especially those involved in essential services, are back on their duty posts. Omotayo Alo, Core TV News, Lagos.